I know it seems like magic, but making soap is just a chemical reaction between sodium hydroxide or lye and fats or oils. The sodium hydroxide goes in and breaks apart the fat, which is comprised of a glycerol backbone attached to three different fatty acids. There are only eight different fatty acids and every oil is comprised of a different mix of each of these fatty acids. So the properties of your bars of soap will depend on what oils that you use. My go-to soap batter is a mix of olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and a sustainably sourced palm oil. This mixture of oils creates a really nice balance between cleansing properties, but also gentleness. Um, it has a nice hard bar, um, but it also gives me enough time uh, to play with my soap. So to make some swirls, to layer, to do different patterns. We can also add additives to our bar of soap to change its properties. I usually almost always use sodium lactate. It is a salt and it helps to harden your bar. So salts will harden your bar. Sugars will increase the lather. So if you're using any kind of fruit or a beer in your soap, the sugar is going to make the bar a little bit more bubbly and lathery. We do have to be careful though because sugar increases the temperature in our loaves so that can also lead to cracking or sometimes loaves will volcano right out of the mold if they get too hot. It's also fun to add clays, uh, pumice, poppy seeds, things that'll give you a little bit of scrubbiness. All of those fun additives can be added to our soap again to kind of change the feel of the soap and how, how it works. The fragrance oil that you use in your soap or the essential oil uh, can also change the bar quite a bit. Um, certain fragrance oils will discolor, so anything with vanilla in it will go brown. Uh, certain perfumey fragrance oils generally tend to accelerate your trace, which means that they make the batter really thick really quickly, so it's hard to actually get it even into the mold sometimes. Um, yeah, so you really have to um, do your research if you're using a new fragrance oil. Sometimes it's trial and error, but a lot of times my soap suppliers will have lots of great notes on how the fragrance performs in soap. I also always recommend checking the material safety data sheet for every ingredient, especially fragrance oils, because some of them are pretty nasty. A lot of them are fine to use. They're actually safer and milder and better for the environment than some essential oils, but it's always important to check. The biggest things that I look out for are safe to use uh, during pregnancy and breastfeeding and also um, non-cancer causing. Some of the fragrance oils available for purchase will actually say right on the MSDS sheet may cause cancer. So please do your due diligence, check the MSDS sheets, because what's the point of making handmade if it's just going to be as toxic as the crap in the grocery stores? I hope you took something away from this. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.